The burning question in your minds is all about payment. Now this is on Duotrope's glossary page. It has all kinds of information about their uh, how they mark things, but I want to talk about payment because if you're like me, you like getting paid. So there's all kinds of markets. Non-paying, you might get copies or some uh, exposure on social media, you know, so that's nothing to sniff at. Question mark is unknown. They don't know if they pay, so you'd have to go to the uh, website. Usually it's uh, non-paying if it's unknown. Now, token uh, token for poetry could be anywhere from a dollar to f about five dollars, I'd say. For fiction, it's, you know, you get a little bit. Uh, $30 at most, uh, as they're saying, for a 3,000-word story. And, of course, there's a lot of variation. But, you know, token is a really nice place to start once you've kind of got your feet. And then you can build your way up to semi-pro. Um, you know, it's a little better. And then professional is where we all want to be one day, getting into the hard journals. Uh, some also pay royalties. So don't expect that when you're first starting out. But that's, you know, these are all, a, it's kind of like a goal. It's a ladder. You want to climb up the ladder as you uh, get more and more skilled and more exposure. So I wanted to start with that before um, we dove into something else. I wanted to show you when you're starting out, Here's a good place to start. So under reports, they've got an area called publication response statistics. That sounds really boring, but you can get some good information this way. They have um, like top, top 10, top 100 lists of all these different markets. So let's say you're just starting out. You might want the top 100 most approachable markets, or we could go for the top 25 they have the slowest, the fastest, the challenging, and the approachable. Let's check out that. I find these are really uh, useful. Slow markets, oh, you know, these are the high paying ones. That's why they take years to get back to you. Forget that. I don't have time. Fast markets are nice. You can submit it and then like half a day later, they let you know if you're in or not. Um, I prefer fast markets. <laughs> Challenging, these are hard to get into. I'm always trying to get into split lip. So it's nice to know, you know, who's the most challenging. Uh, you know, maybe uh, submit to these markets every now and then, but don't waste too much time on them. When you're first starting out approachable markets, you know, these have really high acceptance rates. Now, of course, we don't know. Some of them pay and some of them don't. But if you're just starting out and you want to build a following, this is a really good place to go. Um the top 25 approachable markets, and um, those are always good to know about. Let's see, there's some other good ones to look at. You know, then there's the 100 most approachable, the fastest to respond, that we also have for, uh, for poetry, kind of the same thing. Visual art, there's not, there's not as many people doing it, so they don't have as many responses. So, this is a good kind of a good place to go if you're if you're looking for, you know, breaking into the market, or maybe you want to throw out, you know, maybe you want to throw out most to the fast markets or the approachable markets, but you also you might want to throw a couple to the challenging markets just to get yourself started. So those are just kind of some ways of thinking about how you can find publishers. You can also find them, you know, we did the search engine last time, but you can also find by title. So let's say um you know, you can either click on a letter, and you get everybody. But if you know the name, like, I've been wanting to get in a tin house for a long time. You can pull them right up. There's a couple that come on top, and of course they have their online, which is a little easier to get into. Not that I've gotten into it yet, you know, or the actual magazine. Oh, permanently closed. Darn. All right. You know, if there's another one you want to, let's say you want to submit to the New Yorker. <laughs> I've looked for it before. And then it'll pop right up if it's, you know, the only option. So those are a couple ways uh, to kind of make a, a bit of a plan and think about, you know, where do you want to start in terms of how much you want to get paid and, you know, if you want to Try and build up your resume a little bit with some easier markets and then work your way up to the challenging ones. And typically those are the ones that pay a lot of money. So in our next video, we're going to talk about some other ways to find uh, 
find place to submit that uh, might get your creative juices flowing if you don't have a particular piece in mind to submit um, and to get you generating some material. So be right back.